everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am officially back from vacation. As many of you guys know, I was gone for a month. We went to Florida to visit with my husband's family and friends and we had such a great time. I'm finally back. I've been unpacking and trying to get my life back in order since I've been back. It's been kind of chaotic. You just have no idea the work that it takes to leave for a month and come home and get your life organized after being gone a month. It's kind of chaotic. Now, I do have a lot of reviews coming up in the upcoming days and weeks, so be on the look for that of new products, but for the first video, I wanted to turn on the camera and share with you guys the makeup that I wore and the hairstyle that I wore pretty much the entire time I was on vacation. So as many of you guys know, I live in Utah and we went to Florida and I live in a dry climate, but Florida, it's very hot and humid there right now. And the humidity is just a bugger when it comes to hair and makeup, it just is. It's so different and you kind of have to adjust to it. Took a little bit of makeup with me, but I only ended up even using half of what I took because I kind of got to the point where it took me like 15 minutes to put my makeup on and it was so quick and so easy. I didn't wear like a lot of makeup. I didn't wear a lot of eyeshadow and stuff when I was there. So I thought it would be fun to turn on the camera and share with you guys my like 15 minute vacation makeup routine and also the hair tools that I used while I was on vacation. As we know, not only does the humidity affect the skin with the makeup and all that, but it also affects the hair. Right before I left on vacation, Beach Waver was kind enough to send me over the Beach Waver uh, rotating curling iron, their shampoo and conditioner, and also the heat protectant hairspray. This small portion of the video is sponsored by Beach Waver. And the reason why I decided to accept the sponsorship is that they were going to give my followers a 20% coupon. So if any of you guys have been wanting to get the Beach Waver or any of the products from Beach Waver, you can save 20% uh, off by using the code 20 Terra. I will link it in the description box down below and also pin a comment. It's not an affiliate coupon code, but it's there for you guys to use. And if you guys have been wanting to get it, because I'm sure you've seen the Beach Waver um, from other content creators or even on Instagram or any of the social medias. And if you guys have been wanting to get one, you're more than welcome to use the 20% coupon. The shampoo and conditioner, I had to actually buy more when I got back because I took this with me and everybody that used my shower used this up. So by the time I got back, I only had a little bit left. So I went ahead and ordered more. This is such a yummy shampoo and conditioner. It smells kind of like a coconut, kind of gives you like the tanning lotion vibe. And because I used it on vacation, it's gonna remind me of vacation, but I love the way that it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now let's talk about the Beach Waver really quick. Now I do a full tutorial using the Beach Waver and I will put the timestamp right up here on the screen so that you guys know when the hair tutorial because I'll, I'll do the makeup and then go to the hair tutorial. When I got to Florida, I was using my regular curling iron and as many of you guys know, the humidity wrecks a curl. Like you, your hair does not hold a curl to save its life in the humidity. So the curling iron that I typically use I mean, it was just like flat in minutes. Well, I decided to pull out the Beach Waver and I think because this rotates and the way that it rotates and kind of wraps it, it kind of has a strong hold on that curl. And this lasted way longer than my other curling iron in the humidity. So I used this the entire time I was there. It was perfect. For me, it was easy to get used to. It's got the little small clamp right here and you clamp it and then you rotate it whichever direction you wanna curl the hair. Um, it's just really nice. Now, if it ends on here and you wanna bring it back to this place, you just push the home button and it brings it back. You can also do it on fast or slow. So my setting is on the fast because I'm so used to it now that it just wraps up great. But for beginners, I would recommend doing the slow because then it rotates a little bit slower, kind of gives you time to get used to it. You have all your controls down here where you can kind of go up in heat or down in heat. But I really enjoyed this and I think because of the way that it wraps the curl and it kind of wraps it up a lot tighter than I was able to do with a regular curling iron, it just, it became my ride or die in the humidity. I will leave all of the information for the Beach Waver and all of that in the description box down below along with the discount code. And thank you to Beach Waver for partially sponsoring this portion of the video. That's what we're doing in today's video. It's all about the makeup and hair that I did the entire time I was on vacation. Quick 15 minute makeup routine and actual hair curls that held up 
better for me in the humidity. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so the first part of my routine was my Lashify. I could do my makeup in like 15 minutes compared to if I had to throw on a bunch of mascara and do all of that. Typically while I was on vacation, I would do the Lashify and it would last me like four or five days. I have tons of different styles that I've collected over the last, like since I started. And I don't wear Lashify a lot because it's really hard to review palettes and review makeup wearing these type of lashes. And I actually grabbed them last minute. I was packing up my stuff to go and I grabbed them last minute and I'm really glad I did because I ended up wearing them pretty much the entire time I was there. There are some drawbacks to Lashify, which I will get into that. Uh, but I'm just gonna kind of show you how I have been applying them. I'm gonna first use the cleanser. So this is the pre-cleanse and I do, I put these on before I put on makeup and typically what I would do is I'd put them on at nighttime. So, you know, after I'd wash my face and get my face nice and clean, then I would apply Lashify and then the next day I would put my makeup on, right? So typically what I do is I take a clean spoolie and I go down into the little cap thing here and kind of shake off the residue and then I, run this through my lashes, tops and the bottom. It kind of cleans them and kind of gets them ready for the glue and stuff like that. I noticed that using the pre-cleanser and kind of cleaning the lashes before I put them on was a game changer. It just allowed them to last so much longer. So having all of the oils and stuff off of your lashes really help to allow the glue to last that much longer. It, there are some drawbacks to Lashify. Number one, they're very expensive. The lashes are very expensive and I've never been able to reuse them. Once in a while, like if a, one of the little pieces will fall off, I'll be able to save it and wear it again. But some of the styles that I really like, uh, such as the C, which stands for curl, I believe, those ones are extremely natural, but I cannot get those to last. Like. I cannot reuse them. I'll be doing a full video on Lashify. Um, this is just kind of showing you what I did uh, while I was, you know, the makeup that I wore while I was on vacation. So I'm gonna be using P12s and P10s. So like I said, I'll do a full video all about Lashify, but for now, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in. Basically, I'm gonna put P10 right here in the inner corner. I'm gonna put two P12s in the center and another P10 on the outer corner. So I'm basically gonna put four sections on each eye. So two of the P10 on the inner and the outer, and then two of the P12s on the inside. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part and we're gonna jump into my makeup. Okay, so I got my Lashify on. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and then I'm gonna seal it with the crystal glass. Basically, that just kind of makes them waterproof, kind of like seals them so that stuff doesn't, you know, mess with it. So I've set my timer for 30 minutes. Let's move on to the face. So basically, while I was in Florida, I didn't use my magic cream one time. I took this smaller one with me, didn't use it once. Because it's so humid there, and you know, in a humid climate, it's hard to keep your makeup on. So I went ahead and ordered this because I didn't take 
this primer. I've been using this primer from Tom Ford. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Primer, but I didn't take it to Florida. It was big and I didn't want to take it. So while I was there, I was struggling with kind of keeping stuff locked and loaded. So I went ahead and got the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer from Milk Makeup, and it actually works really well. I would say it's very similar to that Tom Ford. So if you didn't want to spend the money on the Tom Ford, I recommend this one because this one worked just as good and it did kind of help. It, now it doesn't fully mattify, let's just be honest. It doesn't fully mattify. It kind of help control some of that shine. So if you're looking for a good mattifying primer, this one is not bad. Then I move on to this. Now I bought this right after I got there. I would say within like a week of being there. This concealer become my favorite concealer. This is pretty much the only concealer I wore the entire time I was there. It's a medium coverage, but it's very, very natural on the under eye. And it's hydrating, but also kind of dries and sets down fantastic concealer. Because it's a medium coverage, I like to use my color corrector just like right here in those areas that I need some extra support <laughs> for the dark circles. Go ahead and blend that out. What I really like about this concealer is it does have a really unique uh, applicator. It's got this um, metal applicator tip on it, and so it's not a sponge and it's kind of supposed to be more cooling on the under eye, and it is. It has a cooling effect on the other eye. I wouldn't say that it depuffs or anything, so I'm not gonna go that far, but I do quite like it. I just take a little bit here, and then I bring a little bit like down and around underneath like that. And then I spread this as far as I can spread it, and I also use it on my eyelids. Like I kind of sneak it up and into the corners of my eyes. So what I was doing was kind of bringing that down along the cheek, but just spreading it as far as I can. But you can see it, it blends out so natural. What I also like about it is that I love my Kosas concealer, but when I was wearing it in Florida with the humidity, I would find that it would kind of lift from the skin throughout the day. Like it wouldn't stay down. In Utah, I don't have that issue. It's more of a drier climate, but the Kosas concealer would kind of it would kind of start to break away as the day went on, especially if that was out in the heat too long. I also like that it's not drying. For those who have dry under eyes, I think you might really enjoy it, it's a good one. Now I'm gonna move on to foundation. Only three foundations that I used was the Shantakai, this is the Just Skin to Did Moisturizer. I have this in the shade Wheat. This is one of my absolute favorites, like one of my favorites. And I also, of course, used my Jones Road foundation sticks, which I would use this one to contour even if I didn't use the foundation sticks. Still love these. I need to reorder shade 14 because I'm getting low on it, but I I used them the whole time I was there. Depended on what I was doing, if I wasn't gonna be out in the heat all day, or if I wasn't going somewhere, you know, if I was just going to the pool or the beach or something, it was fine. But if we were gonna go out during the day, and I need to make it makeup to last, I reached for the Air Flash. Of course, the Air Flash is super expensive, but this is the only foundation that I feel like holds up in humidity. Spray my brush directly on it, like that. And then I take as what I just sprayed and spread it as far as I can. But I'm only putting it on those spots where, you know, I don't have the concealer just to kind of melt them together, you know what I mean? By the way, I have this in the shade for warm olive is what the shade is. Now it matches, you can see that it's a little bit darker, but avoid the sun in my face. So I wore a hat pretty much the whole time I was out in the sun. So I did get some tan lines and stuff and I got some color, but I don't tan my face. So I tried, I, I tried my damnedest to keep the sun off my face. I just blend that really good into the hairline. Now I'm gonna add my contour, which I was just basically using this. I need to sharpen it. You can see <laughs> I need to sharpen this. So this is the Jones Road face pencil in the shade number 19. And I just am kind of like using this to 
give me some structure around the perimeters of the face. And I'm just gonna use a brush to kind of tap it out. It looks really natural though. That's what I liked about it too. And because it's a foundation, it lasts and stayed on like a foundation does. I need to add a little bit more right here. That's what I like about this too, is it's super forgiving. And I just kind of tap it out and tap in it over top of the foundation. It doesn't like disrupt the foundation at all. And it gives me a little bit of that warmth and a little bit of that bronzy look to the face. I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder on my eyelids. That was how I controlled the creasing, is just putting powder on. So of course I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. Just taking a little bit, kind of powdering this. Let's go ahead and move on to blush. Pretty much used my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasms on my face. So I have the peach and the pink, the peach chasm and the pink chasm. And what I normally do is just take and put a little bit here on the back of my hand. So like that, I would take my brush and kind of go into it and just place a little bit of it on because I really liked the shine that it gave the skin. It's really just a really natural kind of youthful blush. But you know me, I like more color as far as blush goes. So then, once I got that blended and tapped out, then I grabbed Bare Nectar, which is my lipstick that I created with Christian Adet, and I would go ahead and put a little bit of it right here. Love this as blush, oh my gosh. And then I just blend it out. It's so pretty, right? It gives that like really beautiful pop of color. Right? Isn't that so pretty that you, I love it that I can wear it as lipstick and blush. Like it gives me so much. It gives me all the funny feels. I just love it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder using my hourglass and I'm just gonna go over all of this and just kind of set everything in place just to kind of calm down some of the shine and it just kind of sets everything. All right, then I did my brows. So I'm just gonna run a spoolie through them. I go ahead and put my 24 hour brow setter through them, kind of shaping them. And then I'm gonna run a clean spoolie through them just to kind of pick up any of the extra product that's sitting on the, on the hairs. And then I kind of use the clean spoolie to kind of set them where I want them. I went ahead and added some of my gloss. Ray, I'm almost out of it. I need to order more. <laughs> I'm literally almost out of it. I used it every single day. I love it so much. I'm almost out. Oh, it's such a pretty gloss. So I had about a minute left on using the, um, gr uh, let's see, this is called the glass crystal right there. And this has a little like ball on the tip of it. See the ball on the tip right there? So this, so this is supposed to kind of like seal the lashes. It's like a sealer. And I like to brush it through the lashes. And then I like to take the tip of the ball and kind of go over them like that. Just to make sure they're nice and sealed. So now that I got the brows done, which they're not my favorite, but I'm kind of tired of messing with them. They're just gonna be what they are. I just don't care. I pretty much use this every single day, the whole time I was there. This is from Hindash. This is his eye tone pencil in the shade Intra. Love this. And what I do with it is I take it right here at the base of the lashes, and then I kind of go like that and blink. Then I take a brush like a flat tip brush and just kind of blend it out. And I just kind of blend it and kind of create a little bit of that lift. And then I also put it here on the base of the lashes, like right there, and then blend it out. And I take the brown eyeliner. This is Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Eyeliner in the shade Coco. I put this right up here on my waterline kind of hiding my waterline so that the false lashes kind of blend into my natural lashes. You can kind of see the difference that that made, right? It just makes it look that much more natural. Now these lashes are not the most natural, 
But if I was wearing like the C, the curl, the C um, 10s and 12s, most people didn't even know I had false lashes on. They were so natural. Then I take a little bit of mascara. I have this uh, travel size from Chantecaille. Chantecaille is my favorite mascara. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And I only do a tiny bit of mascara. I don't do a lot. I do enough just to like define my lower lashes. As far as lip liner, I'm gonna take the shade Paradise from Christian Adet. This is in collaboration with Lisa Duncan from Lisa Lisa D1. She created this shade Paradise and it's so pretty and it's so pretty with uh, Bare Nectar. So I'm just gonna run that along the lash line. The lash line. <laughs> the lip line and then I just blend it out with my finger you'll also notice that my nails are gone these are my natural nails just gel over top I have so much to do around the house as far as just spring cleaning and organizing and all that that I could not have long nails on right now so we took my long nails off filed them down these are my natural I just went ahead, she just went ahead and put some gel polish over top they feel a little weird but I'm adjusting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put Bare Nectar on. It's such a pretty combination. Oh, so pretty. I am gonna use the uh, Westman Atelier, but it is a nice powder. I would like to get the pink one. I don't know if I will, but, so I'm just gonna grab some and then just place it like right here on the center of the face, just to kind of polish it up. Now this doesn't control my oils like all day. Um, it, you know, I think a lot of us pretty much know that about finishing powder. Like finishing powder, you know, you do need to kind of reapply it throughout the day, but it is a very nice one. It is, it's a good one. And it works great over top of this concealer too. But you can see how it just kind of polished things up a little bit. Now I'm going to uh, put on some highlighter and I'm gonna use my Hermes. That is the one that I took with me. And that's the one they pretty much wore the entire time I was there. Just gonna tap a tiny bit here. Put a tiny bit of highlighter right here on the brow bone, just to kind of give a little bit of a highlight to the brow right there. I mean, it's just subtle, but it, you know, gives a little bit of something and then I kind of blend it out. Maybe a little bit here on the inner corner. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to my hair. So now I'm gonna use my Beach Waver. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin some of it back. I gotta just kind of pin some of it so I can see what I'm doing. Cause I, I always start from the back. Some people start from the front. I start from the back. Like that. It's so easy. Kind of does all the work for you. <laughs> It really does, it does all the work for you, it's great. And I leave a little bit on the ends just to keep it from, you know, just to have it make it like that beachy look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part so that, you know, you guys can watch me do it. And then I'll show you kind of, you know, how I undo the curls when I'm done.
Okay, so hair's done, makeup's done. This is the final look. This is pretty much the makeup that I wore and the hair that the hairstyle that I wore the entire time I was on vacation for a month. And don't get me wrong, my hair did not stay this curled, but I think because the way this wraps it and it wraps it tight, it lasts longer than my other curling iron, which is the reason why I was using this more than my other one. I will be doing a full face of new products in the upcoming days, so be on the look for that. I did pick up quite a few things while I was on vacation, and so I will definitely do a full video get ready with me kind of testing and playing with new makeup. Now, everything I used in today's video, I will link in the description box down below. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.